Welcome back to our developer diary. This time we move into the realm of pure fantasy and I'm going to talk about a very important element of King Arthur, about the power of magic. Any fantasy wargame wouldn't be complete without powerful spells like Brain of Fire, Unnatural Storms or Magical Lightning. These are all possible in King Arthur, of course. We have more than 100 different spells in the game. Some of them are simple, they deal damage to the enemy units. Since this is a war game, you can use even these simple spells for different tactical purposes. The lightning spell affects a whole area and deals damage to the units standing there. So you should use lightning on the center of the opposite army, where the strongest units gather in a small area. The crystal shards attack one unit, so it would be wise to strike those enemy units that you can't attack efficiently. For example, when you don't have Spearman against the Charging Heavy Cowardly. Or there is a spell called Blast. It only works around the hero, but it instantly deals maximum damage to everyone standing nearby. Its counterpart would be the Venomous Curse, which is the spell that you can cast on distant targets as well, but it will deal its damage gradually. So it will take a couple of minutes until it delivers full damage. It is very effective against injured units, because it will definitely kill many of the weak soldiers. The spell called Dragon's Breath is different. It kills several soldiers in a unit, regardless of how many hit points the soldiers have. A wise leader will reserve this spell for the strongest hostile units, or the ones who have no injuries. The favorite choice is to target the enemy archers with the Dragon's Breath, if there are less archers, there will be less arrows flying towards your troops. As these examples show, magic in King Arthur has a significant role in your tactics on the battlefield. In each situation you have to use the most appropriate spell in the right time against the well-chosen target. Consider that all the units and special locations on the battle map have their own specialties like traits or unique bonuses, and if you add magic to these combinations, you will see that even a simple spell can be very powerful. This rule applies even more if you use more complex spells that, for example, change the weather, maybe boost or weaken the abilities. The Storm of Avalon spell suddenly creates a terrible storm, even on a sunny battlefield. Dynamically changing weather conditions look absolutely fantastic, but more importantly, they can change the balance of the power on the field. A heavy storm makes the archers useless and slows down the knight, which is in turn is a great opportunity for the light infantry units. It's time for some revenge. Another way to change the balance of the forces is to boost the damage that the unit can inflict, like the magical weapon spell that turns all the maces into magical weapons. The last stand gives extra defense for the soldiers, and the seraph halves the skills of the enemy. You can slow down the enemy, or use the hold spell that makes everyone immobile in a crystal prison. I should also talk about a group of very unique spells that give huge tactical advantages. Just imagine what happens if you teleport your heavy infantry next to the enemy archers. And you can also open magical gates to several points of the battlefield, for example to the victory locations. The name of the invisibility spell speaks for itself. And if you cast Nightfall, that suddenly turns bright daylight into dark night, it's going to be very useful for the dark creatures, if you have some of them in your army. There are several protective spells as well. Spellboard gives full resistance to magic, the use of protection from magic is quite evident, and this spell destroys all existing spells in a given area, where no one can use spells for some time. Now, after we have discussed few different kinds of magic, we should talk about the background of the spells. When your heroes gain new levels, you can choose new spells from a skill tree. 
The available range of spells always depends on the morality of King Arthur, because a Christian king or the follower of the old faith will access different powers. As you, in the role of King Arthur, move your position on the morality chart, you unlock unique spells that you can give your heroes later. Generally speaking, the Christian miracles, for example, give boost to the melee battles, while the old faith grants ranged spells and others that area affecting. Hopefully I could show you that the magic in King Arthur is much more than a nice element of the game. It is a very important tactical role and there are also many additional combinations that you can create with the different kinds of spells. You will see it in the game. Thank you for watching us today and see you soon.